Hello viewers, I create this video on the request of my one viewer. So let us begin introduction about BOD test. The Royal Commission on River Pollution in 1908 selected BOD5 as the definitive test for organic pollution of rivers because this five day of period was chosen as an appropriate test period. This five day period is the considered longest time that the river water takes to travel from source to estuary in the UK. So what is BOD test? The BOD test is abbreviated as biochemical oxygen demand. It is defined as the amount of dissolved oxygen needed by the aerobic biological organism to break down organic matter present in the given water sample at a temperature of 20 degree centigrade with a specified period of 5 days incubation. This value is mostly expressed in milligrams of oxygen consumed per liter of sample or in ppm that is parts per million and is often used as the degree of organic pollution load of water bodies. This test is also done to check the effectiveness of wastewater treatment plants. The theoretical equation used to solve the BOD is BODT is equal to L0 minus LT that is equal to L0 minus L0 e to the power minus KT or equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus KT. This L0 is ultimate BOD and BOD 5 is equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus K5. When we are calculating the value of K at different temperatures, the equation used is KT is equal to K20 theta to the power T minus 20. In this case, the theta is given in numerical values or the value of this theta is 1.047. Here, L0 is ultimate BOD. LT is equal to L0 e to the power minus KT is BOD remains and K is reaction constant. So what is ultimate BOD? The ultimate BOD is the amount of oxygen required to decompose all the organic material after infinity time. This is usually calculated by conducting the experiment for a 20th day period. The BOD test measures the strength of wastewater by measuring the amount of oxygen used by the bacteria as they stabilize the organic matter under controlled condition of time and temperature. So here the formula used is BODT is equal to ultimate BOD multiply 1 minus e to the power minus KT or BOD5 is equal to L0 that is ultimate BOD multiply by 1 minus e to the power minus 5 K, where BODT is the amount of BOD exerted in time T in mg per liter. L0 is ultimate BOD in mg per liter. T is the time in days and K is deoxidizing rate constant per day. Let us take an example of ultimate BOD. The problem is the BOD5 of wastewater is determined to be 150 mg per liter. The K value is known to be 0.23 per day. What would be the ultimate BOD value. So to determine the ultimate BOD, the formula used is BOD5 is equal to ultimate BOD multiply 1 minus e to the power of KT. So 150 is equal to ultimate BOD multiply 1 minus e to the power minus 0.23 into 5. Here we consider the value of 5 because the test is conducted for the incubation of 5 days. So the ultimate BOD after calculation is 220mg per liter. Let us consider some more problem. A BOD test is conducted at standard temperature conditions using 200 ml of secondary sewage effluent mixed with 100 ml of water. The initial DO of the mixture is 7 mg per liter. After 5 days, the DO is 1 mg per liter. And after 20 days, DO has stabilized 0.1 mg per liter. Assume that nitrification has been inhibited so that only CBOD5 is being measured. Dilution factor is 300 upon 200 that is 3 by 2. So the first part of this calculation is calculate the 5 days CBOD of secondary effluent in mg per liter. Correction factor is negligible. And in the second part of this numerical calculate the ultimate CBOD in mg per liter. Correction factor is negligible. So the formula used in this numerical is CBOD of effluent sample is equal to initial DO minus final DO multiply by the dilution factor. So here the initial DO is 7 mg per liter and the final after 5 days is 1 mg per liter. So put this value in the formula 7 mg per liter minus 1 mg per liter multiply by 300 by 200. So after calculating these values the answer is 9 mg per liter.
Now let us apply the same calculations to calculate the ultimate BOD that is BOD for 20 days or when the DO is stabilized. Here initial DO is 7 mg per liter and after a period of 20 days it is 0.1 mg per liter. So apply these values in the formula to so 7 mg per liter minus 0 0.0 mg per liter multiply by the dilution factor and after calculation the answer is 10.485 mg per liter. So our one more problem on these BOD and ultimate BOD is determine the one day BOD and ultimate BOD for a wastewater whose 5 days 20 degree centigrade BOD is 200 mg per liter. The reaction constant K is equal to 0.23 per day. What would have been the 5 days BOD if it has been conducted at 25 degree centigrade. The solution of this problem is based on the formula BODT is equal to L0 minus LT that is equal to L0 minus L0 e to the power minus KT or equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus KT. So in place of T put 5. So BOD 5 is equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus K5 and K is 0.23 per day. KT is equal to K20 theta to the power t minus 20 and, and the value of theta is 1.047. So after putting these values kt is equal to k20 1.047 to the power t minus 20 or k25 is equal to 0.23 multiply by 1.047 to the power 25 minus 20 and after calculation the value is 0 0.29 per day. Now the BODT is equal to ultimate BOD minus BODT or equal to ultimate BOD multiply 1 minus e to the power minus kt equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus k5. So here we put BODT that is after 5 days the value is 200 is equal to L0 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.23 into 5. So L0 is equal to or this ultimate BOD is 293 mg per liter. Now BOD for 1 day is BOD 1 is equal to 293 multiply 1 minus e to the power minus 0.23 into 1 that is 60.1 mg per liter. Now determine BOD5 at 25 degree centigrade. So BOD5 at 25 degree centigrade is equal to 293 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.29 into 5 and after calculation the value is 224 mg per liter and after calculation the value of BOD5 at 25 degree centigrade is 224 mg per liter that is 224 mg per liter. If this knowledge is beneficial for you then you may like, subscribe and share this channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.